And the campaigning is almost done and New Hampshireites are making up their minds tonight. We are in the small town of Milford, New Hampshire, where Bob Dole has just arrived for a rally at the Green. And as our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis, shows us tonight, the push for support is fierce. As are going for Dole. Back to you, John. All right, Mark, thank you very much. Campaigning for Bob Dole today here in New Hampshire, Connecticut Governor John Rowland. He visited a high school in the town of Amherst. <laughs> yeah, that's right. On the campaign trail once again, with his eight-year-old son R.J. in tow, Governor John Rowland is trying to bridge the gap between young people and the oldest man in the race. How old is Bob Dole? Seventy-two? The governor tried to emphasize experience over age. A few of the seniors in this art class will be voting for the first time tomorrow. But for the most part, Rowland was working the younger crowd. What grade are you guys all in? Nine. Nine. This is all the ninth, ninth grade huh? wing. So why go to a high school instead of meet with people who are voting age? It was the governor's idea. He wants all the kids in this school to go home tonight and tell their parents the youngest governor in the nation came to campaign for Bob Dole and that Bob Dole has a message of hope and opportunity for the next generation. It's obviously very, very close. And, uh... Governor Rowland believes negative ads against Bob Dole are responsible for his lost lead. And that's why he and so many other Republican office holders are in New Hampshire trying to shore up support and do Dole's attacking for him against Pat Buchanan. His appeal is not very broad-based. Um, I think Connecticut is uh, a little bit more moderate than, than, uh, than New Hampshire. So I think um, he'll have a base of support here, but I don't, I don't see any base of support for him in, in Connecticut at all. And I don't know what good the governor really did here today because the students held a mock election. Here are the results of that election briefly. Dole, 27%. Alexander, 27%. Forbes 13%, Buchanan 11%, Keyes 11%, and Luger 7%. So I think that the children at Amherst High School are very reflective of their parents. This thing appears to be a dead heat tomorrow here in New Hampshire, proves to be very, very exciting. And back to you. It sure does, John. Thank you very much.